Hello everybody, and welcome to the video. I am currently at the Premier Inn at Gatwick Airport, North Terminal, because tomorrow I'll be flying from here at London Gatwick for the first time I've ever flown out of here to Glasgow, and then I'll be flying from Glasgow back to London Heathrow with British Airways. Um, I'm excited to go into Gatwick, it's an airport that's actually been on my list for quite a while now uh, and the circumstances were right for me to uh, book and I had a nice journey down here went through uh, London Victoria Station, lovely uh, uh, train station as well and I just managed to get myself some food at McDonald's for a treat um, and now I'm here, I am ready to go, ready for tomorrow and I hope you guys enjoy the video. This is the view from at my window. I was really hoping to be facing the terminal, but you take what you can get. Kind of got a nice view of the hills in the background. And maybe if I'm lucky, I'll catch an aircraft on approach very soon. So there we go. See you on in the distance. Where are you? Come on, come on. You're there somewhere. I would love to see which aircraft that was, but as you can tell, there is, even though I'm connected to the internet, the app isn't working. And it's not that, just that. Um, all the major internet servers are down. YouTube, Google, Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, they're all down. Um, all over the world there's a massive outage as I'm recording. Um, so I am stuck in my room with nothing but my thoughts. Oh no. I don't know what's caused the major outage. People are saying that it's been hacked uh, uh which is really quite scary that the fact that every bit of your communication is gone social media twitter everything just does not want to work and we don't know why um so what shall i do in the meantime uh let's talk about british airways um there has been some news about ba and gatwick uh, uh as of recent uh that they were planning to start a low cop subsidy low cost subsidy sorry if i'm if i keep mumbling uh but they had a disagreement with the i believe the pilot union and that has has been scrapped but there's been a few rumors that uh it might actually happen instead i don't know what the uh subsidy name is going to be called or the routes that they're going to do most likely most of the um, uh, flights to Spain and low... Ah, you can tell that I'm tired. <laughs> um, probably most likely the um, flights to Spain, Portugal or the holiday destinations um, because this airport is kind of end up like Stansted um, where it's just mostly low cost carriers. Um, even though British Airways do have a a good long haul uh, fleet to the Caribbean and the US. You've also got Air Transat here as well and um, Southwest, not Southwest, uh, WestJet of Canada. You can tell I'm tired. <laughs> um, I will probably try and fly out of here again long haul at some point in the future. Uh, Air Transat flies the A321neo into here um they're meant to be quite good westjet also flies their um dreamliners into gatwick as well which i've seen the business class and that's actually quite nice um i also want to properly go spotting here as well and there's a museum somewhere i think it's on the opposite side of the airfield and there's an abandoned uh md somewhere i want to catch that at some point and hopefully i might be able to catch it when i am taking off from here tomorrow so there there's stuff i want to do here 
it's just the matter of saving up and coming down here for a day and flying out here. So what's going to happen with British Airways fleet here? I don't know. Um, the A319s there slowly being phased out, including the retro, which I really want to fly on, which at this point I doubt I will. So I'll probably be the only spotter who hasn't been properly on retro. Uh, flown on one. I was hoping to fly on the jumbo jets last year uh, From New York, but that just didn't happen. I was happy to fly on the jumbo jet. Don't get me wrong I was really hoping to be one of the retros um, And as for British Airways here long haul as far as I'm aware that's still gonna happen. That's still gonna stay and the um, Most of the routes at the moment, they've all been switched to uh, Heathrow for next summer. Um, I don't know what the fleet's going to be if this low-cost subsidy happens. Um, it's one of those things where we have to going to have to wait and see um, what happens with British Airways and what happens with Gatwick. Um, so I hope we get a low-cost subsidy, and I hope that they expand out of London. I know that. Um, they're keeping their domestics here. They'll be flying from here to where I'm going, Glasgow, and they're going to fly to Edinburgh, and they're also doing Manchester as well. Whether that's going to be switched to the low-cost subsidy, I don't know. A lot of questions up in the air. But they're keeping their domestic, and they're keeping, as far as I'm aware, their long haul. Um, their short haul to Europe, that's being moved to Heathrow until something is said about this low-cost subsidy. Um, but it would be a shame if British Airways just go, but I can understand why I can actually understand both sides of the argument. Um, it's very fragile here at Gatwick at the moment, um, for lots of, lots of reasons. Um, but Gatwick's a good airport as far as I'm aware, and I will experience that tomorrow. But for now, I am going to go have a soak in the bath and I'll fly out tomorrow and see what Gatwick is about. So, see you tomorrow. Right, it is now the 5th of October, 2021, the day I fly to Glasgow. It's around 6 in the morning, so still quite dark. Uh, my aircraft, if you look on flight radar, because now the internet is now back up and running. There she is. That's my aircraft. And as it turns out, this is also the same plane that will also take me to London Heathrow as well. So, yay. Me hoping for the retro. Yeah, not gonna happen. And I doubt it will happen now. <sighs> anyway, I am going to set myself up. Uh, get myself ready and head off to the terminal so and here comes my aircraft coming in from Glasgow which will take me to Glasgow and then take me to Heathrow and I was really hoping for the retro never mind at least I can get my air miles in through security which is busy enough and my aircraft is just behind me uh, let me zoom in there there you go there is the A319 there we go a bit better I'm just trying to find where that gate is and Gatwick terminal north terminal a little bit complicated uh, I'm not quite sure how to get to that gate. It hasn't even shown up yet on the screen. I'm guessing because it's probably a crew change. That's why it's taking so long for them to set up and clean. That's why I assume anyway. But <laughs> the, the gate system in the north is just 
it's so weird. I'm going up and down and everywhere and then when I think I'm actually getting to where I think my gate for the aircraft is, it's a completely different gate entirely. So, uh, I have no idea how to get there but I'll keep uh, roaming around until I actually find it unless it says otherwise on the, on the thing. Might get some food while I'm here. And then find the gate and go to Glasgow. Behind me is the American low-cost carrier JetBlue with their A321 XLRs. This is their actually second destination to Europe. Technically, yes, it's London, but it's still their second destination. They do fly into London Heathrow, and now they fly to Gatwick to JFK, and they have big plans to expand into Europe and several airports in the UK. Apparently, including Birmingham. So hopefully, we'll get a New York New York route back at some point. And if you know JetBlue, they will fly to every single airport in the United States if they have to. For example, in New York, they don't just fly from JFK, LaGuardia, and Newark, but they also fly out of Staten Island and White Plains. So they'll be anywhere and everywhere. That is their business model. And I think they're gonna try and do the same thing when they come into Europe. So far, they also have slots at Stansted as well, because they did plan to do Boston to Stansted, but then they changed their minds and they went to Heathrow, started up Heathrow and now that Gatwick and hopefully we'll see what other destinations they decide to. I think I have a broad idea of how the gates work now. I need to go back into the, such the terminal in a second, but there is a BA777 here and I'm gonna get a close up shot of it.
the moment I've got the road to myself. Uh, I think this is my first Gatwick plane uh, that I've flown on. I kind of went on one last year. They had a Gatwick based plane based at Heathrow to do Nuki and that kind of broke, if you remember that video. Um, but this is my first proper Gatwick plane and you can really tell the difference between the seating configuration and everything from Gatwick based planes compared to Heathrow. Um, but now we're just getting set up and ready to go to Scotland. safety car in your seat area, as this includes important safety information specific to this aircraft type, such as brace position and location and operation of the doors. In the event of an emergency, low-level lighting will guide you to an exit. All exits are clearly marked and are being pointed out to you now. Please take a moment to, to locate your nearest exit, bearing in mind this may be behind you. Underneath your seat. If required, remove the jacket from its container and pull it off your head, securely or placed into a pocket. Larger devices, including laptops, must be switched off and stored in your luggage for takeoff and landing. Take care your device doesn't get lost within your seat. If it does, please don't move it, but let one of the cabin crew know. Devices must be switched off when not being used in flight. Please ensure your hand baggage doesn't block the aisles or exits. It must be put under the seat in front of you or into an overhead locker. Place items into the locker carefully, as they may fall out and in your seat.
Alejandro Naranjo, and I'm using it to remember what this could be so it's like to the last door. I would like to have a personal welcome to you all and welcome back to executive like members and one more frequent buyers. We recommend that you keep the seat belt fastened whenever you are seated. You must be seated be fastened and the seat belt sign is on. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take this opportunity to share some important information about all new hygiene and safe distance measures in flight. We ask you that you stay in your seat as much as possible and avoid walking around the cabin or queuing in the gallery areas. Before using the toilets, we ask that you check the green vacant sign early to avoid waiting in line. We require our customers to wear a face mask at all times during the flight. Out of respect and for the benefit for your fellow customers and our crew. A reminder, the mask can only be removed for reasonable short periods when you are actively consuming food and drink. It should be placed back on between courses. It should not be left off for the duration of the meal service. The same also applies if you are resting or sleeping. Please ensure that you have your mask on. If you require assistance or are feeling unwell, please remain seated and press the call bell in your seat area. This will allow the cabin crew to provide assistance as you sleep. We are about to start of our service. If you are sitting or club your cabin, we will be offering you a complimentary meal and drinks from the bar. In your hotel, we will be offering you a complimentary bottle of water and snack. This will then follow by our speed counter service to purchase items. That will be served first, followed by onboard purchase. The crew will shortly be passing through the cabin with a selection of drinks and snacks available for purchase. If there is anything we can do to make the journey more comfortable, please let one of the crew members know. Thank you.
now in Glasgow. The plane that's taking me back to London is back there. It's the same plane that I've already gone on. But I want to get that Alaskan 737 on the opposite side. So I'm gonna run, catch that and come back. Yeah, I can only take a quick video of Alaska. Apparently there's an event going on. I suspect maybe this has been a rumor for a while that Alaska might be flying into Europe. I wouldn't be surprised if they picked Glasgow. It's um, there's a lot of Scottish routes in Seattle and Alaska, as far as I'm aware. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if they added seasonal Anchorage and Seattle at one point. That's the only real thing I can think of as to why Alaska is here. Unless it's for something completely different, I don't know. The area was blocked off. There was police. I did politely ask if I could go over. I even suggested you can look through my bag. I'm not a threat. I'm, you just don't get to see this airline this far uh, but uh, his flight and he said no I was like hey, yeah okay I understand uh, don't, don't want to make myself feel un make myself uh, unwelcome so now I'm back at the gate at uh, Glasgow where BA operate and my flight over there is just being prepared before I head back home and this is where my video ends there's no point me doing the exact same um, video with the same aircraft again and again um, and you've already seen my uh, video of uh, Glasgow airport anyway uh, from a few months back uh, when I flew to Belfast uh, city from here uh, so this is where I'm gonna end the video thank you very much for watching if the weather is good there might be a little bit of a bonus at the end if the runway into London Heathrow is good and the weather is good so um, again thank you for watching please like comment and I will see you all next time bye from Glasgow
The time now is 2.15 in the afternoon. Please remain seated with your fasten until the fasten signal sign has been switched off. When it is safe to visit, take care when opening the overhead lockers as items may have moved and could fall out and cause injury. Before leaving the aircraft, please make sure you have all your personal belongings with you and remember that smoking is not allowed until you have reached a designated area. You may now make and receive calls as well as use all data services on your handheld electronic devices. If you journey and see that heat not only with the aircraft, please follow the yellow signs for arrivals. Customers who use the British Airways mobile app can receive connecting gate information and boarding notifications if you have your device switched on. You can also connect using the free Wi-Fi offered by Heathrow Airport. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, when the signal signs are switched off, please remain seated and refrain from collecting personal belongings from the overhead storage. Until your row number is announced, as we will be disembarking all customers in smaller groups. Please continue to wear your face mask as you leave the aircraft, including if you are on any ground transport and until you exit the terminal building. All of us at British Airways and the Womble Alliance would like to welcome all more customers who live here in London and wish those of you visiting an enjoyable stay. If you are traveling on further, we wish you a safe onboard journey. On behalf of my team, it has been our pleasure having you back on board with us and we look forward to welcoming you back again very soon. Thank you.